Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you in a second what's been going on and why I haven't uploaded in so long. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram you'd probably already know all of this but for everyone else I'll just do a quick overview of what's been going on. Alrighty so pretty much what happened I didn't think the house got any damage from the floods earlier this year but constant rain is what damaged the house and one bedroom <laughs> yes that totally looks like a house so the floors all got ripped up the walls um, are all drying so they had dryers in here for ages had to move everything out of the room into the shed i can't do anything in there <laughs> that's why the bed is in the living room because the bedroom is also pulled apart bedroom one all pulled apart yeah all empty that's not too bad because the carpets were pretty rank so gonna be putting tiles oh that's bright and that's the third room why this video has been a bit delayed because we've just been crazily trying to just sort out the house uh, if you're wondering this shirt is ranger clothing and <laughs> it is actually a small but it's quite large but I like that because oversized tees is my thing right now <laughs> as always disclaimer I was wearing thongs let's all move on with our lives <laughs> Alrighty, so the 105 is getting a turbo install and a lift in this video. So you'll see all of that. And then over the next videos, you'll see the dyno uh, and the results of that and what we did and then future plans for it as well. That's pretty much it. Let's jump into the video. All right, it's 5.35 in the afternoon. And this is what we're doing. Way too hot down there. Oh. Whew, what is that? That's twenty twenty, that's what that is. We just fast forward a few steps, the turbo and manifold just magically hop onto the block. <laughs> Do you like my hairstyle? I'm going to the races later. It's a very in thing. Yeah, I called it the fashion trend of 2020. <laughs> So you got a, a straight drop down angle. Yeah, but that won't crack it. No, totally. It's been fairly unproblematic so far. Except for that. <laughs> My hair is so funny looking. I like make sure everything's done on one thing and then go on to the next. Otherwise I'll forget something.
but currently my needle is below empty. Well, we have jerry cans on the back, and we're gonna see when it actually is empty. Because obviously he's not empty. So yeah, fun new game. When will Daddy run out of fuel? I reckon Connaughty. You reckon? Yep. Just conveniently because there's a set by there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just a okay. game. Nah, I reckon we'll get all the way there. If it starts spluttering though, we're gonna pull over immediately. Alrighty guys, so we're here at Mackay 4x4. Check out the shirt. And this is all the gear that is gonna be going on the 105. Uh, we're going to be filming the whole thing, so you can see how that all goes together. We're doing a heap of other things, we've got tail shaft space, we've got extended brake line, everything else is pretty much from Dobbinson's. We're also going to be putting on a bull bar hopefully for this time. They look like fucking Dobbo's, old Dobbo's ones. Yeah, A lot of people won't put, a lot of people don't put this rubber back in, but mine, well I didn't put it in mine, it made noise. So yeah, right. if it's still good enough, put it back in. Yeah, I was making sure mine was going first, don't you worry about that. <laughs> Nah. Right, Eject come to you further. Hey? Eject come to you any further? It will, but I just don't know what's pulling tight there. It's just that metal brake line. Oh, yeah, they'll no, go a bit further, yeah, they? Should I do it up right, get it going the right way for you? <laughs> Make life a lot easier when you're not... I thought it was both sides, that's why I was confused. Oh, I was like, no, it's... Oh, it works. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've just put in the back and now we're on to the front. So in the back we did springs, shocks, didn't do the bump stops, extended brake lines. And we've also rerouted some ABS lines as well. 
the lower control arms were plus 11 mil for anyone who wants the measurements and upper are still the same and pan hard was measured so each side is even. Front. <laughs> On there. That's the side that sticks out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that goes in there and basically holds uh, each your ring for your indent. You got your decant ring. Got there, isn't it? So <coughs> if we can, I'll yeah, just get a screwdriver. I'm not. Pardon? Oh, he's sitting on it. Oh. That's way back. It is, but. Oh yeah. Not got a little bit in there anyway. Just a little short bit of air. Does it help? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Try going down on that jack a little bit. This one? Yeah. Alright, hang on. The whole diff needs to twist down. Yeah. So we do need to... I think we do need to leave that bit that you got there. <laughs> I'll put a bit of curry on. Point if they say it. Easy! <laughs> That just needs, the arm just needs to be up a little bit. Yeah, needs to be up a bit. Look at that, straight through. Go down the jack, it might just be enough to let off. Oh shit. Quarter of a bolt off. Just ratchet this. The more up you go, the different twist back. Got it. Well done. Next. Next one should be easy. <laughs> well, it should because it should all be lined up. <laughs> right in. Uh, well done. Trying to get a big spin of it in. Yeah, I think so. It's done the same. 
you do it so I didn't you know, jack it up. Yeah. And now I'm going to make sure this goes in the towel. Oh no, you're good. Can't get the bolts out, Can you right. give me a nut? Someone? A nut? Yeah. You're right, a nut. You're yeah. talking about a nut. What have we got? Bang up the nut. He says to come over Well the whole damn town has been waiting for the day Just finished the lift. It's a little bit broken up and all, all over the shop, but there was a lot of, um, you know, jacking in the right spot, and yeah, just there's not really a set way to do it. Do it. You sort of just got to wing it. Alrighty, guys. So that's the end of this video. This whole process was filmed over the two days. The majority of products was Dobinson's. There was a few extra brackets and extensions that we got from Superior and then a few, I think the extended brake lines came from eBay as well. So it's not just like a buy or one kit, there's a few things you gotta get. Still gotta get bump stops. Other than that, if there's anything you need to know about this process because there was a lot that was left out, uh, just leave a comment and I'll try and answer them. And if you ever need anything suspension wise and you're around Mackay, just pop in, say hello. So right now the 105 is next door at Diesel Smart and the guys over there are gonna tune it. So stay tuned for the next video because you'll see all of that. Been so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone bacon. Everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land So now I'm driving back on in the state west I just gotta feel something <laughs> <laughs>